Now, there's this complicated term heterodyning, but it comes back to that question I posed right at the start. If ultrasound is above our range of hearing, how come people put headphones on and they can hear it? Well, it's this thing called heterodyning. And basically what that does is it takes these very high frequencies up here, you know, 30 kilohertz, you know, higher, uh, that we can't hear, and it transforms it into something that we can hear. So this scale you see is, is logarithmic, but, um, you know, if it's that sort of higher frequency, it, trans it takes it and transforms it down to something that you can hear. Now, I meant to check whether you will be able to hear this, but what I've done in this case, I said, okay, if you listen to this. Everybody, how are you going? So. Hello, everybody. How are you going? You can see with that statement, and maybe you can hear it through the microphone as well. Let's do that Hello, again. Everybody. How are you going? Now, that statement took a certain period of time to complete, and you can hear it's obviously my voice, but I can change it. I can shift it up higher in frequency. As I say, I hope you can hear this, otherwise I'm sitting here talking to myself. But you can see that it's 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 saying the same thing. It takes the same time to say the same thing. It's just the pitch is higher. Now, I'm using this as a sort of an example, if you like, to say, well, with ultrasound, we're doing the opposite. It is so high in frequency that we can't hear what the turbulence or the cavitation or the rubbing or the impacting, we can't hear it. But this translates it down to something we can hear. So it means that if inside the bearing, it is still going tick, 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 tick. Um, that even when it's transformed down to something that we can hear, the time between those ticks or those impacts is the same. That isn't changed. It's just a sound that we can now hear if we want to listen to it. Or, of course, we can digitize it, which I'll speak a bit more about in a moment, and we can visually see it. We can look at the frequencies and so on. But this is the technique that allows us to put the headphones on and actually listen and, and hear the lubrication issue or hear the arcing and things like that. Even though when we take the headphones off, we, we can't hear a thing.